Welcome to Power Coat Music. In this presentation, we are going to discuss a best home and mobile studio solution setup for under $400. Setting up a home and mobile recording solution today can get expensive fast. If you're looking to record your music professionally and economically without learning and maintaining a digital audio workstation software application for your PC, then you've landed in the right place. Now, if I was starting from nothing on a very tight budget, this is what I would do. Again, this is from my perspective only to get my initial setup going. The great thing about the solution that I'm going to share with you is that it's simple. It's also economical, mobile, and if your PC crashes or gets a virus, you can still record your music. Now, I'm setting a budget of $400 for this solution as this is not an unrealistic starting budget for a lot of people interested in recording their music at home, at gigs, or anywhere else their music might take them. The assumption in this presentation is that you already have instruments and accessories like guitars, keyboards, drums, and cables. There are three bare essentials for starting a home recording studio setup. The first is a digital audio recorder mixer. The second is having a good microphone and stand. Last but not least is having a pair of headphones and or reference monitor speakers. Now let's take a look at the first item on the list, which is the digital audio recorder mixer. My recommendation to stay on budget is to purchase a Tascam DP-03SD digital Porta studio. If you can get a refurbished unit from a reliable seller with a limited warranty, hey, that's even better. For many over the years, the DP-03SD employs a simple user interface and has been stable, internet safe, and reliable. This is a quality professional unit that is capable of producing superior audio. Use the Tascam DP-03SD's prices online range from $200 to $279. The prices new at this time range from $300 to $350. With a DP-03SD, two tracks can be recorded simultaneously and eight tracks are provided for playback. The unit also includes a built-in mixer, which allows multiple tracks to be mixed down to a stereo track to create a master track. The unit also has two omnidirectional built-in microphones that can be used to record mono tracks separately or a stereo track together. I'm a big fan of using an external microphone to record vocals. However, the built-in mics may work for some folks who cannot afford an external microphone at this time. Now let's take a look at the Tascam DP 03 SD's features. What we have here is an 8-track digital Porta Studio that uses SD cards as recording media. It supports SDHC standards for large capacity cards up to 32 gigabytes. Now its functions also include simultaneous true track recording and 8-track playback at 44.1 KHZ at 16-bit. The unit includes nine 45 millimeter faders with eight being track faders and one being a master level fader. Each track has independent reverb and pan adjustments and track select buttons, as well as volume faders and the track select record buttons. Input on two channels are through the standard 6.3 millimeter quarter inch TRS jacks. You also have XLR connectors, or you can record with the built-in microphones. Now the XLR connectors can supply phantom power. The unit also has built-in microphones that can record mono tracks separately or in stereo. High impedance guitar input, if you want to record a guitar or bass with the unit, um, is supported by the standard jack on input A. The graphics display uh, is a 128 by 64 pixel, and we have an independent two-band uh, equalizer uh, on each input and playback track. The unit also allows you to mix down to a dedicated master track and mastering effects can be used on mix downs of those master tracks. The reverb effect, which is the predominant effect on a unit, can be adjusted independently for each playback track. 
we also have automatic punch in and out functions along with the track, track bounce function. Track editing functions include copy, move, open, cut, silence, clone, and clean out. Undo and redo functions are also included and a multi undo uh, is also available that shows your operation history. The unit has a locate mark function along with tuner and metronome. WAV files uh, can be backed up uh, on songs on the FAT partition of the SD card, and those can be copied to a PC that's connected via USB 2.0. Punch in and out and other functions can be assigned to and controlled by a foot switch. Now, let's move on to the microphone and stand. At this point, there is $100 left approximately in our budget depending upon the amount of the Tascam DP-03SD purchase. If you choose to use an external microphone, which is recommended, then the focus should be on a mic that's $50 or less. Ouch. With this, I have two recommendations. The first is the Shure SM48 Cardioid Dynamic Microphone. The Shure SM48 gives you the good sound and excellent durability that Shure microphones are known for. The cardioid pickup pattern also helps keep external sound sources to a minimum and reduce feedback, and you're going to need that for your environment. Use Shure SM48 prices range from $30 to $40 online. Prices new range from $40 to $70. Let's check out the features of the Shure SM48 microphone. This is a dynamic cardioid microphone with a frequency response of 55 Hertz to 14 kilohertz. The output impedance is 150 ohms and the mic has an XLR connector. Below that is the weight of the microphone. The second is the Behringer Ultra Voice XM8500 microphone. The Behringer XM8500 packs a lot of bang for the buck and has built a reputation for ruggedness and reliability. The most surprising thing about this mic is its level of quality at such an amazingly low price point. The XM8500 is $20 new. Wow! Now with this, I strongly recommend buying the unit new. Let's check out the features of the Behringer XM8500 microphone. Now this is a dynamic cardioid mic with a frequency response of 50 Hertz to 15 kilohertz. Not bad for a $20 microphone brand new of this caliber. The output impedance is 150 ohms and it has an XLR connector. Below that is the weight of the microphone. New microphone stand prices are approximately $20. You may be able to save a few dollars purchasing a used unit on eBay or even better at your local music store or thrift shop. Next, let's discuss headphones and reference monitor speakers. With approximately $100 left in our limited budget, we have a choice of either purchasing headphones or reference monitor speakers. Neither of these are anything to get excited about at the $50 price point. I strongly recommend headphones for the best results as most rooms aren't treated for near field monitoring. For mixed downs, it's important to have headphones that are circumaural. This means the earphone portion fits completely around the ear. We'll start with a headphone recommendation. My recommendation is the Audio-Technica ATH M20X closed back monitoring headphones. The circumoral design and the cushy air pads make these headphones comfortable during long sessions. They are reliable, fairly accurate, and have a wide dynamic range with acceptable detail. The prices for a new pair online range from $44 to $50. Used and refurbished prices that I've seen range from $30 to $40. Let's take a look at the Audio-Technica ATH M20X features. 
These headphones are a closed design with a circumaro around the ear fit. It's a wired type and it has a 40 millimeter driver. Uh, the noise attenuation is a passive noise isolating attenuation and the frequency response is quite good at 15 hertz to 20 kilohertz with a 47 ohm impedance. The cable type is straight and it's over 9 foot cable length and below that you have the plug size which is both quarter inch and eighth inch along with the weight of the headphones. Let's move on to the reference monitor speakers. Now I've always been honest with you on this channel and I must admit that at the $50 price point or below I do not feel comfortable recommending reference, especially new reference monitor speakers to you. This doesn't mean that an okay pair doesn't exist in this price range, I just don't feel that I can recommend them. Now if you must have a pair of speakers and your budget is $50 or less, then my suggestion to you is to try to find a used pair of Mackie CR3 Creative Reference Monitors. Used prices I've seen online range from $50 to $80. And if you can find a decent pair for $50, I strongly suggest that you buy them. I wish you all the best luck with that. Let's move on to our roundup summary of the solutions discussed. The first thing we're going to do is talk about what a new solution uh, looks like and how much that costs, and then we'll move on to the use solution perspective. With that, let's take a look at the new. The new solution setup includes, of course, the Tascam DP-03SD Digital Porta Studio at $300 and the Behringer XM8 500 microphone at $20, good deal, and the Audio-Technica ATH M20X uh, headphones at $50 and a microphone stand at $20. And here we have a total of $390 new. Moving on, we have the used perspective solution setup totals. And this, of course, includes a used Tascam DP-03SD Digital Porta Studio at $250 max. I don't suggest paying more for that new, uh, used. And then we move on to the Shure SM48 microphone. Of course, this is a different mic. Um, so we're looking at a higher quality mic at a used price of $40 max. After that, we have the Audio-Technica ATH M20X headphones at $40 max used and a microphone stand that you should be able to pick up for around $15 depending upon where you shop, either online, maybe at a thrift store or at your local music store for $15. With this, the total for the used solution setup uh, totals $345. So with this, you have two views on a setup depending upon your particular budget. If you want to save a little extra money, of course, we go use. I always suggest that. But if you want to get the warranties on everything and you want to have new items to start, then you have, of course, the $390 setup, which is still below $400 and a great deal. In summary, the solution that I share with you in this presentation is mobile, simple to set up and configure, and you can start recording almost right away. It should outlast any PC digital audio workstation software solution platform today, and it's safer because it's internet free with no software installations, continuous updates, potential conflicts, or steep learning curves. Well, that's a wrap. If you like this presentation, give it the thumbs up and click the subscribe button on your screen now to join our group. We have new presentations coming out every seven to 14 days, and we'd love to have you be a part of our team. Also leave a comment in the comment section. Let us know what you think about this presentation and check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Spotify. While you're here, listen to some of the music, check out some of the other presentations, let us know how you feel about that, and check out our playlist because they're designed just for you. Thank you so much for stopping by. We really appreciate it, and we look forward to seeing you soon.